Astronomy from Us Born Beginners. Studying the sky. When you look up at the night sky, you might see lots of stars. This is only a tiny part of space. Astronomers study space to find out about the different things that are found there. What's in space? There are lots of different things in space. Planets are big round lumps of rock or balls of gases. Some have rocky or icy moons moving around them. Smaller pieces of rock or ice are called asteroids. Stars are massive balls of gases. Many have planets moving around them. Millions and millions of stars are grouped together in galaxies. And there are millions and millions of galaxies in space. A place in space. Planet Earth is one of eight planets that move around a star called the Sun. The Sun and planets are known as the Solar System. The planets in the Solar System are very far apart. They're very different sizes, too. Jupiter is the biggest planet. This is how big Jupiter is compared to Earth. Jupiter is so far away from the Earth, it looks like a bright star in the sky. Watching space. Astronomers use telescopes to get clear pictures of things that are in space. There are lots of different types of telescopes. Radio telescopes find planets, stars, and galaxies by collecting signals from space. These are some of the ALMA radio telescopes in Chile, South America. The Keck telescopes in Hawaii, USA, use huge curved mirrors and cameras to take pictures. At night, Light from a planet is reflected from the mirrors into the cameras. The cameras turn this light into a clear picture of the planet. Telescopes in space. Some telescopes fly around the Earth in space. The Hubble telescope is a famous space telescope. Big mirrors on Hubble reflect light coming from distant galaxies. A camera takes pictures of the galaxies and measures how far away they are. Hubble sends signals to radio dishes on Earth. The dishes send signals to computers. The computers turn the signals into pictures. This is a picture of the antenna galaxy taken by Hubble. Sometimes astronauts have to go into space to fix Hubble. Looking at galaxies. Astronomers have discovered different types of galaxies. Some galaxies are shaped like a spiral this picture of a spiral galaxy was taken by the Hubble telescope. Other galaxies are known as irregular galaxies. These can be different shapes. The cartwheel galaxy looks like a wheel. Some galaxies are slowly joining together. These two spiral galaxies will eventually become one even bigger galaxy. The Milky Way. The solar system is part of a galaxy known as the Milky Way. Astronomers pointed the Spitzer Space Telescope at stars in the Milky Way. This is Spitzer. It's around the same size as Hubble. A camera on Spitzer took pictures of different stars. It sent this information to computers on Earth. The computers used signals from Spitzer to make a big picture of the Milky Way. The solar system is around here. Astronomers are looking for planets in the Milky Way outside our solar system. Studying stars. Stars form inside a swirling cloud of gas and dust called a nebula. Astronomers use telescopes to study how stars form. This is a picture of the Carina Nebula taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. The bright points of light inside the nebula are new stars. Gas and dust in part of the nebula start to form a clump. It gets hotter. Gradually, the hot clump becomes a bright, glowing bar ball. This is a star. The star glows for millions of years. Slowly, it gets bigger and redder. Eventually, layers of gas puff off into space, and the star fades away. The biggest stars end in a huge explosion called a supernova. The Sun. The Sun is the closest star to Earth. Astronomers study the Sun using the SOHO Space Telescope. It flies around the Sun in space. 
Soho took this picture of the sun. Never ever look directly at the sun. Its strong light could hurt your eyes. This is a close-up picture taken from Soho of a huge loop of gas on the sun. Soho blocks out the sun's light to detect hot gas around the sun called a corona. It also photographs sunspots, which are cooler patches on the sun's surface. Probing planets. A probe is a type of spacecraft that flies to planets. It takes lots of pictures and sends them back to computers on Earth. This is a probe called Voyager 2. It took this picture of Neptune. The probe found dark swirls on the planet. These are huge storms. Venus is covered in thick clouds. The Magellan probe used signals to make pictures of the surface. The Magellan probe sent signals through the clouds. The signals bounced off the surface, then back up to the probe. A computer used the signals to make this picture of the surface. Exploring the surface. Rovers are vehicles that explore planets. They drive around, taking pictures of the surface and studying rocks. A rover called Curiosity flew to Mars in 2012. This is how Curiosity looked as it was lowered to the surface by a spacecraft. Curiosity has studied different rocks to look for signs of water. A drill on the end of Curiosity's arm made a hole in the rock. This made lots of dust. It moved its arm to scoop up dust, then tested it. It sent the results of the tests back to astronomers on Earth. The moon. The Earth has a smaller, rocky ball moving around it, called the moon. As the moon moves, the sun lights up different parts of it, so it looks as though it's changing shape every night. When you can only see a small part of the moon, it's called a crescent moon. For over 50 years, astronomers have used spacecraft to find out about the moon. In 1959, a Russian spacecraft flew around the moon and took pictures. Astronauts landed on the moon in 1969. They took rocks back to Earth. Astronomers sent a probe to the moon to study its soil in 2009. In the future, people might live on the moon. Space Lumps Asteroids are lumps of rock, ice, or metal in space. Sometimes they crash into Earth. Some rocks heat up as they move close to the Earth. They get hotter and hotter until they catch fire. All the rock and metal burns up, leaving just a streak of light across the sky. Other rocks don't burn up. They hit the Earth instead. Astronomers study them to find out about rocks in space. This rock landed on Earth. It's shown here at around twice its actual size. It has been cut open to see what's inside. The shiny pieces inside the rock are metal. When some space rocks hit Earth, they make holes called craters. Stargazing. You can see lots of different things in the night sky without using a telescope. Some stars look like patterns in the sky. They are called constellations. This constellation is Canis Major. If the stars are joined by lines, it looks like a dog. Constellations can look different when you see them from different places on the Earth. Sometimes a glowing light, sometimes glowing lights appear in the sky. This is called an aurora. A comet is a lump of dust and ice. It has a bright tail that can be seen from Earth. The bright strips of stars in this picture is the middle of the Milky Way galaxy. Glossary. Here are some of the words in this book you might not know. This page tells you what they mean. Star, a huge ball of gas in space. The sun is a star. Galaxy, a group of millions and millions of stars. Telescope, equipment that makes a thing that are far away seem bigger. Nebula, a swirling cloud of gas and dust where stars form. Probe, a spacecraft for exploring planets that is controlled by a computer. Rover, a computer-controlled vehicle that drives across a planet. Constellation, stars in the night sky that look like a pattern. That was Astronomy from Us Born Beginners by Emily Bone, designed by Matthew Preston and Sam Chandler. 
illustrated by John Fox and Uta Bitsiech. Astronomy consultant, Dr. Leela Powell, reading consultant, Allison Kelly. And this is EDU Kids Space. If you like this video, subscribe and look for more videos of books like this being read, as well as other lessons and stories.